I've always been kind of a geek. This song is about the International Space Station. I wanted to be a composer, and I went to school for that. I studied classical music and jazz all growing up, um, and lots of other kind of weird, weird, weird music. Essentially, I didn't I didn't listen to top 40 exactly, and uh, my my rock history education is woefully full of holes, but. Uh, I went to uh, school for that, and when I left school, I said I will never be a musician again in my life. I'm so sick of it. I just, I don't like it. It's not, not for me. Who's to say we're falling if we miss the ground? And who's to say we're going nowhere if we like spinning around and around? And I moved to Alaska and went, what on earth am I going to do? Started working in cafes, which I love, and food service. Uh, doing some desk jobs, kind of a lot of random stuff around downtown Anchorage. And uh, gradually fell in love with Anchorage. It got me, and I don't want to leave now. And then I, I also discovered a singer-songwriter in folk music, which I really, I, I suppose I had listened to, but I hadn't recognized it as a distinct genre or as something that was still happening. I sort of thought of it on my parents' old LPs and not uh, as something that was current. And I started hearing in the cafes and around Anchorage because there's a great singer-songwriter scene up here. fell in love and thought that I can do that you know I can't I don't want to compose for films anymore I don't want to write you know orchestral music or choral music anymore and I don't want to certainly don't want to be a popular singer but I do like that kind of music and I like that model of living where they don't they're, they're not trying to strike it rich and they're not trying to get a big break they're just trying to make a living being a musician and that's much more possible now I think than it used to be because of the internet you can make a living as a musician without ever necessarily getting famous or becoming a household name and that model works for me <laughs> Funny to go from a whole radio gig with hundreds of intent listeners and raising thousands of dollars and then go to a UAA the next Monday and have absolutely nobody listening in an empty room playing for 50 bucks. I love it. That's the indie life. <laughs> I was discouraged initially at how many thousands and thousands and thousands of little indie bands there are nowadays, but the signal to noise ratio is probably about the same as it ever was. Um, it's, it's just you have a better chance now of making it without some one chance encounter with the right person from a record label. Now you can make it on your own. You don't have to bank on rolling a hard six in the sort of gamble the music industry you can just with with a certain number of hours of work you make a certain amount of money and that ratio that correlation is stronger now than it's ever been i feel if i spend a certain number of hours social networking or working on the internet to promote my music i do better that month in terms of digital sales and and people showing up at concerts and if i don't put in the hours if i'm either working on another project or if i'm just tired or if i'm traveling all the time then those numbers go down and i feel like it's less of a uh, less of a gamble, I think is the right word now, than it used to be.